Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues A to Z series in which we're playing as Eagle Rock. We're led by Rock Council. Um, Eagle Rock is a crossroads of trade and military adventurism with a means to invest or to travel to locales all over the wasteland. For those with the responsibility of leading the appointed council that you run the nation like a company. The business of running a country is still in fact at its heart a business after all. While representing the interests of Eagle Rock as a whole is their duty, there's always a question as to whether they enrich themselves more. But we got the legacy of aviation. Although the existence of the United States Air Force is but a distant memory, part of it lives on through, through those in Eagle Rock. And then Eagle Rock. The town of Eagle Rock is rather unremarkable, and yet by this nature that survived the Great War, a legacy of aviation. Eagle Rock was founded after the Great War by members of the United States Air Force, who were stationed in the numerous air bases in Colorado. Although Denver and the surrounding cities did suffer from nuclear bombardment, the Rocky Mountains served as a natural barrier to such destruction. The USAF rem remnants tried to return to the city after the nuclear fallout had cleared, however. Scavengers, most notably the Hangdogs, forced them out of the city. This led to the survivors traveling west and building a community in the relatively protected town of Eagle Rock. As fate would have it, the town would have intact airfields that would later be used and maintained by the remnants. Aviation runs in our blood, so Air Force Heritage, Better X Ace Generation Chance, Air Accidents Chance goes down, Air Wing Mission Experience Gain goes up. Airship Pir Primacy. The descendants of those previously in the Air Force made the dis interesting decision of prioritizing airships over planes. Oh god, my one thing that I don't really like a whole bunch. Also, using Oral Blues and Oral Blues Tech Expansion gives a little few more uh, tech things to use. The Town of Eagle Rock. When the USAF remnants arrived in Eagle Rock, the town wasn't entirely uninhabited. They were confronted by a group of settlers who were initially hostile towards them, but upon learning that they weren't raiders, allowed them to stay. Inspired by the Free State Secessionist movement before the Great War, this group made extensive preparations of camp, food, and arms, leading to them being able to survive the nuclear winter and subsequent raiders. Despite the anti-U.S. government sentiment, the residents of Eagle Rock and the USAF remnants were able to come together with a common goal of survival in, the mi in mind. They were even e able to even restore some of the semblance of democracy through the Eagle Rock Town Council. In these early years, what did the community focus most of their efforts on? Preparing scavenging expeditions or rebuilding the town's infrastructure? Ooh, three's, uh, three's pretty good. Mm. There's only two. Technically, I'm more researches that way, but a civvy just can't be beat right now. And our future. After a period of steady trade neutrality, a threat looms in our not too distant south. Eagle Rock has always been a sheltered community in the poison, and there are those who seek to change that. Airship Primacy. When the residents of Eagle Rock began to construct aircraft of their own, they made the decision to prioritize the creation of blunts rather than conventional fixed wing aircraft. They uh, figured that the wastelands, uh, ruined infrastructure, wouldn't be able to support fixed wing aircraft due to them requiring large flat runways. Additionally, airships were highly versatile and useful when their numbers were limited. This would be able to, they would be able to transfer goods in long distances, conduct aerial reconnaissance, and even be used offensively. Constructing Blum Tower was a very resource and research intensive project or process. How much emphasis did we place on such construction projects? A reasonable amount. A great deal. Ooh. You know what we're gonna go with a great deal. So I got this going on next. Support equipment of basic caravan stock. Very nice. I want to need some gliders too, which we actually already had that research, which is nice. Uh, we have nothing here, so not ideal. Begin scavenging program, we could. And now we are really, really out of money. So we have several options. We can go with Elite Council, which is all right. Really, we're, ooh, that's not too bad. Um, really heavily focused on planes and really blimps. We can go with the people, but it's not really worth it. Of course, they should have changing policy, but political strife. Despite its relative peace, not all has been fine and dandy in Eagle Rock these past few years. People have been doubts in regards to the Eagle Rock Council. It seems to them like the people haven't been properly represented as of late and are calling for a more democratic process of appointing council members. There's also a sizable amount of people calling for dissolution of the council altogether and replace it with a more effective leader. This effective leader appears to be a warmonger with a cult of personality hellbent on reclaiming Colorado. Ultimately, they decided that. Uh, so, here's this route for these guys. Honestly, the air marshal seems like the best. The council always remained in the hands of the people. Business and capital paved the way to the future. We will reclaim Colorado. We want, I think this is the best one to do. Onward towards Colorado. We can import weapons. Silk militarism. Mm, two more infantry divisions is pretty nice. Get some dynamite technology. You can go to work with Yinta. And get a recruit uh, core reduction cost, so. You can buy military um, 
Mercs, I should say. Huh. Well, weapon well, imports. Let's do stoke militarism. Are you not tired of remaining idle? Doing nothing while the entire world moves forward? Following a council whose lethargy has only led to the stagnation of Eagle Rock's prosperity and spirit? Oh, look at this. Air Marshal. Huh. Color personality. Daily compliance goes up. And a warmonger. So we've got trading blimps. Not very good, but pretty good on the range. An effective army. Very bad. Airport's heritage is decent. An intense airship R&D. Not bad. Also, we are trading some more blimps here, too. So, we don't have enough caps for that. And I don't want to hurt ourselves too much without have, not having enough gaps. Trading blimps, ineffective army. Oh, so we can't go to war just yet. So I guess we're reviewing the military. Our military has fallen to a feeble state due to our relative safety in the hills of Hiko Rock. This must change if we're to confront the growing danger in this wasteland. So, oh, we can disband the council. So we lose, uh, we get 100 political power. That's not bad. More army XP. Trading, trading blimps. Oh, so we got rid of that too, huh? Well, airship automation. I don't mind getting the daily air XP, I guess. Requires reviewing the military. Oh, you can just head to this one. Because I like the daily air XP, but that's not super necessary. Trading, hiring mercs? Our people are not warriors, they're pilots. We should hire some mercenary companies to supplement our main army. And our guys, they're all right. Five infantry divisions. They were initially militia, so I converted them over. Um, I really want to get more political power. If we possibly can. Warmonger is not bad. Honest speaker is pretty normal. Head physician. Per uh, person of the community. This one's not bad either. Daily compliance goes up. Command power. Can't do that one. Do, do, do. Error. Crew organizer, which we will have to do because it's unique. How much we get every day? Almost one. Go and grab that. It's not a ton more, but it's a little bit more. A standing army. Our town militia has worked up until now, however. It would not be effective when fighting someone other there, somewhere other than Eagle Rock. Better army leader costs, division, attack, defense, organization. You know, all the good stuff. We would have a cup of tea or two. Ohm's Law, reference manuals. Golden Gecko, eh? Constructing a training facility, huh? Trading blimps. Reduction in land auction. Uh, special forces, so you get better minimum cap and better reconnaissance. Or you get power armor, medium, intermediate power armor tech, and only plus 15. So why would you why would you even do that? Of course, we're only on... Um, so our technology, let's show you what we have for technology here. We're pretty much mid on everything but power armor, so it's all right. It's not great. Work is needed. Trading blimps, huh? Air Force Cadets, Air Force Academy. Get more construction speed. Dynastats, it's not bad. Ship automation, sophisticated air tech, which is awesome. A threat to our trading blimps has emerged as we continue to set up branch offices. Yeah, ooh. ooh. I guess we will have to go with this one. A, tr a threat to our trading from our branch offices, huh? Well, we go over here, we got a lot of branch offices. The first aerial merchant fleet. Everything's been double and triple checked. Our air crews, especially our pilots, are brimming with anticipation. It's time to officially launch our first aerial merchant fleet out in the wasteland. Let's hope this goes smoothly. We don't know what we might find out there. Very true. Branch offices, Idaho. And, well, I guess we should probably go to Colorado because they were next to them. Atlanta Dogs. Alrighty. Four more days left, and setting up branch offices. <coughs> and market decisions, huh? Uh, establishing branch offices and trade nodes throughout the waste is vital to the prosperity of Eagle Rock. It will allow our airship merchants to be better buy and sell items and resources for Eagle Rock. Each branch office's setup will provide us with an additional extra passive bottle caps income of 5,000 plus a trade nodes level as well as unlocking certain focuses. Branch offices can either be set up through an on-map decisions or the scripted GUI in the decisions tab. Acknowledged. So, ah, down here. So, establishing branch offices throughout the waste and notable trade notes will allow our airship merchants to better buy and sell items. Provide us with extra passive income. We have zero branch offices. 
Utah branch office. Decision took 15 days. More than 100, almost 100 manpower. More than 9. So if we click on it, we lose that 100 manpower and whatnot. And manpower and political power, so. So I would make, maybe we can make some money. Airship production lines. Hey, another arms workshop. That'd be really helpful. Let's grab that next. Our airship merchants seem to be having great success in regards to the trade, however, with extensive use of their airships, they have to need repairs, upgrades, and new replacement systems altogether. Cool. Mexican trade. Hmm. A threat to trading blimps. Well, we haven't had a threat yet. Import weapons. We need more money first before we do anything else like that. Definitely need more money first. Um, what am I helping these guys out eventually? Ooh, allocating funds, yeah. In order uh, for hiring top of the line mercenaries, we're going to need caps. A lot of caps. Support equipment, support equipment is pretty good. Um, sourcing weaponry. New Canaan, Utah trade expedition log. We are already acquainted with the town of New Canaan along with the coast of the Great Salt Lake in Utah. They have sent their Mormon missionaries and caravans to the surrounding towns, which includes Eagle Rock, however. We're uh, far enough away that we aren't, they aren't able to influence our populace too much. Nevertheless, we'll be good trade partners for our improved access to them. However, um, there are some rumors of a potential danger from a tribe called the White Legs of their South. I worry that trade may be less profitable and the future of these rumors are true. Acknowledged. Ooh. Okay, so I guess up next, what is this? So we're there. Well, I guess we keep going with this. Oh, we can hire mercs. Look at this. Each mercenary company that we hire increases our expenses by 25,000 or 25 caps. Passive bottle caps for income per year. Hire Brotherhood offshoots. Oh, wow. Over the many years, she spent serving as a paladin, and Lieutenant Duran became disillusioned with the Brother to Steal. They are supposed to protect the people of the Waste from the shortcomings of their ancestors by preserving knowledge and technology. However, she saw the Brotherhood as hypocrites, using the very thing they sought to destroy to subjugate the people of the Waste rather than helping them. She gathered like-minded paladins, knights, and scribes in her chapter, and deserted the brother, becoming outcast in search of a nobler cause. Interesting. Yeah, you never know. Now let's go with the caps next. We're going to need a few caps here and there. All right, Desert Rangers. For years, the Arizona and Desert Rangers fought tooth and nail against the rising threat of Kaiser's Legion in an attempt to pres preserve freedom and liberty in the Wastes, however. They were ultimately unsuccessful and were defeated at the hands of the Malpius Legate. Afterwards, the remnants of the Desert Rangers were divided on what course of action they should take. Some men created into the NCR, others stayed in Arizona, and Ranger Alloway fled north to build up the Ranger strength and hoped that one day they can avenge their fallen comrades. That's cool. I like it. Higher enforcers. After instability towards the community depart, Dedrick became convinced that the harsh enforcement of laws at the street level was necessary for a prosperous community. <clears throat> uh, or a prosperous society. He gathered what he could about from his crumbling hometown along with remnants of the town guard they sold their services to countries who needed pacification in their cities. They, they became well known to dispense justice in their own way while wearing suits of metal armor and wielding blunt weapons. They even had a time clash raider groups in small warlord armies in defense of small communities for a price of course. Oh, airship piracy. Dog City. This is almost unfortunate. It seems like the scavengers kicked our ancestors out of Denver have only grown in strength. They now call Denver Dog City. A disgrace to say, at, at least. Uh, to, regardless, trade with hang dogs is still profitable due to the riches they find across the city. Acknowledged. Cool. Ooh, buying goods. Oh, you can actually buy goods. Medicines, laborers. Ooh. You get 300 manpower. That's not bad. It costs quite a bit, though. Rations, not bad. Breaching equipment. Breakthrough machinery. Research speed. You get three scrap, huh? Airship piracy. Our airship merchants' expeditions are going fairly well. However, we have heard multiple reports of airships being shot at by raiders or being hijacked when landing, uh, when landing to trade. We must address issues as fast as possible or else it will persist and make our trade expeditions very unprofitable. Our engineers have already suggested arming our airships and hiring mercs to protect them, so that's what we should immediately focus on. A taking 60-day 60 60 mission will continuously remove manpower, stability, and war support unless this airship piracy comes to an end to completing certain national focuses. Understood. Oh, crap. Militarized blimps. Okay. Our trading blimps aren't prepared for the threat they're facing. We need to treat them as if they're intriguing to an enemy's territory rather than friendly trading posts, trading outposts just in case. That makes too much sense. Look, airship designs. Arm and on arm and armor gondolas. Passive caps and come nice. I love it. Adapt designs. Um 
We've had several suggestions to increase the durability of our airships. Among them are lowering the lifting gas's pressure to one uh, ATM, separating the lifting gas into numerous gas cells, and increasing the thickness of the textile envelope or making it metal. Um, close out this one for now, too. A piracy. Adapt designs, arm and armor gondolas. Oh, God. That's not good. Pirates. I like how unique this nation is. That's actually really awesome. I didn't know about this nation very much before, but this seems very cool. I like what the devs are doing with this. I love what the devs are doing in general. They're very good devs. Developers clearly love their their uh, mod. Hire robots, formerly part of the military robotics warehouse. E-22 awoke long after the Great War when the warehouse's power systems eventually failed. Without connection to the government high command or given any sort of directives, E-22 had no specific course of action to take. While well, his newfound free will, E-22 decided to rally the rest of the robots in the warehouse and set off into the waste for some semblance of purpose, whether that be searching for remnants of the United States Army, oh, look at that, uh, military, or dispatching raiders harassing groups of settlers. Well, it's a good thing we can buy guns like this. Uh, you know what? You know what? Screw it. We'll buy that. You know what? We'll buy that too. Designs good. Armor, and, uh, arm and armor, gondolas. We already armed the crew of our airships with simple firearms, but we're going to need more. Mounted machine guns and explosive ordnance will surely deter any potential raiders. Yes, sir. Nice. I hate that we have a lone wolf here. I really do. Oh, the air marshal. Nice. Um, we're gonna, so Darian Foster's here. But well, the only difference between these two is you get plus 10% uh, air tech, air tech. So, uh, yeah, this one just makes more sense to do. If you ever war for theorists, which is okay, military theorists is not bad, but so uh, why would we not choose this one, you know? I'm gonna get more stability before we get Stonewall Pender. Cause you're gonna get so much stability and whatnot. So, and eventually weapon imports. If we're to fight, we require the means to do so. We need to purchase more guns regardless of who's selling them. Yeah. Pretty much. Because right now what we have is, it's alright. It's not great, but it's alright. Follow the National Guard. Goodbye, National Guard. Inta. Are you Inta? Not entirely sure. And how are West on tanks? Uh, see, Operator Ross knew that the 80s could not take on New California Republic. When he voiced his concern to the flagman, he simply laughed and probably kicked him out of the tribe. Fortunately, many others felt the same way he did and escaped the 80s senselessness. Operator Ross fell down on his luck, that is until he comes around. <clears throat> we'll come across pre war tank manufacturing center. He was able to cobble together unfinished tank parts and scavenge vehicles to create hulking war machines. The West on tanks. Look who's laughing now, flagman. That's cool. Work as needed. Sure, why not? Hey, another division, not bad. A downturn in piracy. Our efforts to militarize our blimps and hire mercenaries to prevent our airships from being attacked have been successful. Seems raiders don't stand a chance against airships now. Acknowledged. Hey, a little more stability. Awesome. So weapon import. Because we have enough money for that now. I would like to just maximize all the trade we can do. I think that'd be great. Fishing industries. It's not bad. Develop western farmland. Expand mooring. Shipping infrastructure. Uh, Colombian trade. Oh, wow. California trade. A land of consumers. A land of steam. A land of ice. Dakota trade. A land of frontiersmen. A land of lawkeepers. A land of sin. A land of slaves. Colombian trade. A land of pirates. And a land of titans. We've got a lot of lands here. It's not bad. Making that money. 
How much money do we have right now? Okay, so that's not bad. That's actually really good. Uh, you know, I'm gonna go with that population. It's kind of expensive, not gonna lie, but it's not bad to get. Let me go with Texas, why not? Uh, D for military command. Army morale is kind of unique. 8% recovery rate, that's fine. I like this one a lot. 7 out organization is not bad. Um, can I spend on stability at all? No, I really can't. What kind of shocks? Texan trade, nice. Mexican trade. Best if you're looking to trade. There you go. Take you a branch office. We need the political power for that too. Um, so let's keep going on though. Conquering the armies. We'll need some trained soldiers, not some sort of haphazardly thrown together militia. You get more infantry divisions too. Western lands, our first target, Yinta. We need unrestricted access to the farmland to fuel our growing war machine. So, how many divisions I got? 3 to 11. Okay, that's not good. So, we get more divisions. So, let's save real quick. Um, I want to see if they say we'll give us two more infantry divisions. I don't think it'll be the ones that we're currently using. But if we go to 18 combat with, will they give us a division that's 18 combat with as well? That's my question. Do this 200 manpower. Let's go before we do that. Can we just maximize? There you go. Conquering armies, western lands, yeah. Carlotta Company? Nah, darn it. It's a good attempt though. Mm -hmm. Woke up army would be nice to go to. Contact last. Oh, come on. Let's do better than that. Found the expedition. Job is looking alright. See, selection, sure, why not? And then I'm going to come over here and grab this one too. As much research speed as possible. Western lands. Well, military command, chief of the army. Uh, no, we're not going to be able to change this. Here we go. Here we go. Western lands. Um, establish council, dockyards. Well, we probably need to improve our attack and defense. Develop a training regimen. Our soldiers need to learn about the many aspects of warfare. Our training regimen will help this process. There you go. So we go to war immediately. Well, let's see. Lone Star, Tax Trade Expedition Log. Well, I didn't expect Tax to be this much of a downright friendly place, although it's still somewhat strange in some places. There are a few good trade notes here, such as Houston and the TAA estate, but most impressive the one is Lone Star. The city's population has outgrown the pre-war infrastructure. So new buildings and roads have been built along the old, old city. Let's just hope this whole idea of a provisional Texas Republic actually works out with the danger that is those super mutant armies down south. Acknowledged. Why do you actually go here and move in fast? God dang it. Well, hopefully we can beat up their one infantry division here. Because if not, we're going to be here for a while. Oh, yeah. Um, you know what? That was beat the crap out of them with the blimp technology. Hey, that's not bad. Ten already? Eight damage from blimps? It's pretty decent. Oh, they threw in three divisions here? Holy crap. That's a lot of divisions. Of course, we're still suffering from less attack and defense, so... You actually have one? Oh, would you look at that? Up to 10 divisions, we only have 9, but our 9 are not bad. Hey. I didn't know the air wing was now only 20. Back in the day, I really hated using blimps because they cost so much to use. They weren't very good. But it seems like they're actually much more effective now, which is awesome. And construct a training facility. We need a dedicated location to train your soldiers in a variety of different environments and scenarios. Well, maybe I'm turning around on this whole blimp thing. I, when I saw the blimps, I'm like, oh my god, no. 
but now that I see it, I'm kind of like, oh, well, let's try. The three fighters are helping us out. We're getting a ton of army XP. I'm going to grab new crossroads next. Sport equipment, nice. Cool. Hey, would you look at that? Technically, they're encircled. Fantastic. It's up to destroy him. That's fine. Yeah, we're actually doing really well right now. Holy cow. Ooh. Ooh. Awesome. So in this case, let's stop attacking here and really focus on the areas where we can win. Definitely went here. Also cut off this division, which is nice. That could, we could make an instrument there. That's really way better than I thought we would. We're doing really a lot better. Nice. Colombian trade. Yes, please. Nevada trade. We like the monies. Oh, wait. Where's Colombia? Uh, Gloria. Allegedly, the Republic of Texas, or the Republic of the Rio Grande, is a pre-war nation still continuing to survive in early, nearly 200 years since the Great War. Oh, there's Colombia. As such, they have a solid political, more importantly for us, economic base, although we can't exactly speak Spanish. Though some of our merchants are certainly trying to learn to barter more effectively, our branch office has been successfully set up. I just hope so that freaky AI in the staff doesn't cause too much trouble. Acknowledged. Fantastic. I love it. This is actually really cool. Dads are just fantastic, man. Oh, look at this guy. Please do not get us encircled. Ooh, boy. There you go. And that and trade, nice. Oh, we gotta wait for the event to pop up first. Oh, oh no. But how about coming? Just kill them off. Uh, sure. Battle plans are good, and the Alamo chapter is done. Well, gets pursuit. Go and trade. Nice, good stuff. And we got a slap bit of a navy. Awesome possums. Edmund Davies. Let's see, flying travels. Uh, you people are great importance, place a great uh, thing of importance on aviation, just like us. They'll fit right in, assuming what, uh, they're one of the ones we haven't killed. Permanent reduction in coring, and get more compliance and less resistance no matter what. Alrighty. Deep mines. Sure, why not? 
versus extinction. Old bones versus dry blowers. Uh, well, I guess dry bones are gone. Old bones, not dry bones. Not, not Mario. A tribe worshiping bones. That's frankly ridiculous. Oh, well, there's pop Yeah, let them come in. Let them come on in. Deep mines. The dry blowers will refuse their demands for subjugation. Shame, really? We could have used the manpower. Oh, we're also going to need to complete, increase the uh, pacification here, too. Not right with that. But we're going to use... Uh, ooh, are we getting more here? Double barrel shotguns. Caravan shotguns. Oh, research bonus. Convoys? So different. Rogue Rangers. Nice. That tank is going to come in handy. Uh, we definitely need to mobilize a little bit more. We need to go to Wasteland and Militias immediately. Eh, that's fine. Drive lords. Honestly, drive lords aren't too bad to take out. This Ouroboros that you got to walk out for Hecate. I can be relatively strong. Undying Hatred, nice. Deep Mines. Um, anything really unique? Not really. New Victoria. On our way here, we saw fleets of pirates roaming the Canadian coast, which worried us, as we certainly wouldn't be able to trade with them. Luckily, construction or constitutional monarchy here, known as New Victoria, has been holding firm against them. Uh, seems like they're having trouble reading with our countries, or trading with other countries, as those pirates are plundering away any vessel without any remorse. A branch drops would be a great opportunity for us, and both them, too. Nice. Man, we make a lot of money. Love it. Restore the Blue Castle nuclear plant. Originally proposed decades before the war as a part of the Blue Castle project, which exists. <clears throat> uh, of the plant just south of the East Carbon stands itself as a shadow of the ambitious plan of transition, Utah further towards nuclear power. Regardless, by Western standards, what little of the project was completed would make it an enormous source of energy. Putting the plant back in working condition would be no small feat, but if achieved, it would aid in our energy and defense tremendously. It's fine, we don't need them. Oh, we're going to demand our rifle territories. Oh, okay. We're going to enable XP, our air XP, our army XP. Oh, wait, I didn't have to research that. Whoops. All bad. Oh well. It's alright. You like being explosive no matter what. Well, it isn't. The fools of Ouroboros. I refuse it, uh, our territorial demands. It appears we'll be forced to make good on our ultimatum. Alright. Way across. You can leave right here. Does this expire at any time? No, it doesn't. Good. On slags, eh? Laws are established. Let's find, let them become established. Iron Capacity is gone. Huh? Alright, let's see. Head on in, please. See what you can do. You, sh you might be actually be able to win. Yeah? This is going up too. Deep Mind's good. Eugenicists. And now we're finally up against Ouroboros. Allegedly, they are selectively bred their people to be perfect warriors. Uh, I doubt they're bulletproof, though. Ah, from Arizona. Kaiser region, a vast empire that stretches from Arizona to New Mexico. They're constantly expanding, and Denver is one of their targets. They deal with graders and other dissidents with extreme brutality, which is good for us traders. Their main resource at the moment seems to be the large amount of slaves they hold. The legionaries assure me that their slaves aren't necessarily mistreated, but <clears throat> I have my doubts. Acknowledged. Nice. Please just do not get encircled when you're leaving this area here. Desperados, very nice. Father just stabbed himself, that's fine, whatever. And, uh, routine equipment. Help oh, sort of themselves, why not? Need some chemical companies, too. 
Manpower is going to be uh, very important in the future. Not bad. Just don't get encircled, y'all. Please. Come on, kill them off. You have literally another opportunity to make another encirclement. You would be a fool not to take it. Help out. Come on. War games. Stimula simulating conflict with the procedures that our soldiers should follow help us develop a new concrete war doctrine. Drive blowers, come on. Sucks ass. Yeah, so my guys got eaten. No, good special forces. That just makes more sense for us. Yeah. We can wait for that one, though. We don't have to have that one immediately. Uh, trade with California, please. Can we make a big old encirclement, maybe? That's good to get this one this side down here. Come on. New Vegas. As we approached Nevada during the night, we saw a spire of light and neon signs in the distance. As we drew near, we saw a bustling metropolis with mostly intact buildings and plenty of traders. Well, welcome to New Vegas. The Silver City, or City of Sin, depending on who you ask. There are plenty of goods to be bought here, but the main attractions are countless casinos at the, that line of Vegas Strip. Rest assured, however, I have a limited amount of caps, crew can waste at such attra attractions. Nice. Gambling? Oh. Spend 50. You might get uh, 50 back, but you might get 200. Well, that's kind of cool. I'm more laborers, though. Um, here, let's go to Storm Creek. Yeah, we got him. Nice. We do that. Then we take, take everything, perhaps? I go to war with us, maybe. I don't know. Because we do need to these guys on this side, too. Doesn't cost too much. Oh, do we have a tree? New, new cannon. New, new, new cannon. Double barrel shotguns. We're not going to buy anybody here just yet. I would like more stability, too. Pandora's box. Hey, we got the 40 army XP. That's pretty nice. Not going to lie. That's pretty darn nice. Uh, and Manitoban trade as well. It looks like we might be able to do really well against these guys. 4 to 15, not bad. We have roughly the same amount of manpower. I'll save just in case. That things go really poorly. Do 
this. They start attacking us, that's fine. Hopefully they don't blow up our ships, but you never know. Oh, well. We need a dock here, don't we? We'll get there eventually. Someday, somewhere. Alright, so that's all the trade notes we can have. Oh, fierce warriors. Oh, yeah. Going up against an actual army proved invaluable experience for our army. With this, we'll continue onwards towards Colorado. Nice. Quite a few. I don't mind attacking here if it's possible. That's not very strong, though. If anything, we'll maybe do try this. We need to improve our infantry still, too, though. How many blimps we got? Negative 10. Okay, that's not very many. Four a year, that's not really good. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Saws, crowd control gear, maybe. of prisoners. Ah, Burnham Springs! This place seems to be per perpetually on fire. Let's extinguish it to see what secrets it's really hiding. Oh yeah, let them attack us like that. Oh yeah. Uh, Spec Ops is not bad, but we definitely need more military factories. Um, yeah, I'll keep it down to one for now. Um, just because these guys are re uh, they're really needed. I mean, we really need to save manpower as much as possible for now. Uh, pipe guns. Do we need more guns? No, we're actually decent on guns. Medicine, yeah. Research speed 15% is not bad. Oh, slaves! Ooh, it's cheaper, but you lose stability. I don't want to lose any more stability. Caravan, shotguns, convoys, yeah. The works and whatnot. Oh, Bismarck. Going north might not have been the brightest idea for the well, uh, well being of airships. I've never heard them creak so much, nevertheless. Uh, it seems like they have the knowledge to build. We, we arrived in the town of Bismarck, and they know how to build, or at least maintain power for weapons known as the Gauss rifles. We've got to get our hands on some of those weapons. An interesting fact I found, although, uh, a lot of people here have ties to other continents outside of North America. Through their ancestors. I wonder how they've won the, the Great War. Acknowledged. Oh, no, you're not allowed to lose. Son, you're not allowed to lose. That is wholly unacceptable. You can get beaten up a little bit, but you are not allowed to lose. There you go. That helps out a little more, too, over here. Oh, yeah. now they're forcing attack, eh? Really gonna be losing here. That's why one of those special forces uh, or uh, uh, with, uh, other stuff on here too. Gauss rifles. Okay. Okay. Why not? Okay. Those are ridiculously strong. So, uh, measure sending bonuses. Yes, please. How much foot part do we get? Not even one a day. God dang it. Expand the council. Ah, oh, but we're purpose training blimps. Our training blimps are important to that is true, however, they would be invaluable in assisting. Uh, oh, look at that. Uh, our forces, our ground forces, advancing towards Colorado. The Twin Mothers is a tribe soon have taught their last lesson. Land is its forces, fill in the valley, taking control of the secret uh, temples and fields. When the town came to finally bring Diana herself up for questioning, the Legion was left empty handed. Diana would have opened up her true home in paradise to the Wastelanders and Twin Mothers refugees, seeking to heal from the injuries they took and prepare for defense against further legionary attacks. And it's getting strange in Colorado, which means they're probably going to attack us eventually, too. So we've got to be careful with those guys. Nice. And just in case, we're going to go this one. Right there, closure. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. We must be mobilizing more. Yeah, Raider bands. There's, oh, they actually took over one of our airships. Look at that. Oh, man, look at that manpower. Not ideal. Very much not ideal. You know, these guys attack these guys here too. Hram Trimble. Good. We're gonna break through. 
Oh, arms rope drops. Flame bullets alone won't do much good against concealed defenders in a fortified position. We must make use of explosives, namely dynamite. Even more air defense. Will that help? Will that be nice? Heaven's Gate. Well, from Idaho, it seems we've waltzed into some sort of religious schism. Several factions are vying for power here. It seems the one in control of most of the trade here is Heaven's Gate. We're able to set up a branch office, but we sort of had to accept the faith. Well, the whole schism thing aside, it's strange to see a community and the way it's using steam cores as a refusion once. Acknowledged. No manpower, or no uh, money now. What's this? You add steam core power weapons, more soft attack, more heart attack, less reliability for 30 days, and removed. Oh, you removed it. Oh, that kind of sucks. I don't like that it goes away. Look at this. By themselves, they're doing more than fine. Oh, yeah. It's not too bad. Scavengers found something? Oh, naval doctrine. Not great, but whatever. <coughs> Making a breakthrough. And military industry. We cannot depend on trade alone. We need a means to produce weaponry on our own. Yeah, pretty much. That'll be good. Enclosure's nice. Research efficiency gain, month, more intensive agriculture. Sure. Uh, even more daily compliance. Yeah, where are we at for this? Oh, we're getting there. 338. Political power for that. That's not bad. 333. Three, three, that's not terrible, too. If anything, I'd like to go here. I'll do it here, too. Um, honestly, going against deep mines might be for the best option. Oh yeah, we're doing some serious damage to him. Splints are nice. They're much stronger than they used to be. Better pooper dam. So now these guys are going to be in a bit of a trouble, a bit of trouble and pickle. You know, you up out here. Nation of prisoners. Black Cane was founded by escapees from a post war prison, and to think they've gotten this powerful. Yeah, look at that. They're all gonna go bye bye. Who could have seen this one coming? Five divisions go bye bye. Oh, oh no, now it's three. Oh, now it's four. Oh, it used to be six. Oh, no. Who could have seen this one coming? Shady Sands, ah, the NCR. A shining example of democracy in the wasteland, or so it seems. Uh, we arrived in Shady Sands after flying over large swaths of land dedicated to a herd of the Brahmin. Uh, good source of meat and leather, they also have some rather extensive agricultural and industrial centers, too. But of course, nothing's ever perfect. Setting up a branch office here was a little royal pain. I've never done do so much paperwork in my life, never mind the exorbitant taxes. God, ta I hate taxes. Cold personality is good. I'm going to master actor. Beat the crap out of them. Consuming goods for minus 5%, that's not too bad. You know what, it's, it's not really worth doing this, but we're going to do it anyways. Because we can. At this point, we're going to send this division back. There you go. Nation of prisoners. Uh, we could disband the council, but how about designs? We could potentially increase the effectiveness of our airships if we were to specialize their designs. Why would you all leave? What the heck, y'all? doing so well. Maybe we could encourage them to do even worse. Hmm. Yeah, I, I like this idea a lot. These branch offices, I think it's a fantastic idea and addition to the game. Especially for Eagle Rock. We don't, we don't really know very much about Eagle Rock, but this is smart. Expand the council. The council's done nothing for the good of the people. 
They've only served to benefit themselves. They're a bunch of, of a product of a bygone era, and thus they must be left behind. But we'll, we'll keep going over here first. Fishing industries, because I don't want to get down here for another research slot. Eagle Rock doesn't have any raw resources that we can take advantage of, however. We sit along the upper Colorado River, so it would be wise of us to use food uh, for fishing as a source of food. Nice. What else we got around here? Demand tribute? You go suck yourself. Where's Vault 27? Oh, you're dull. You're right in front of us. Do we take these guys on? Maybe? Well, someone else wants to kill us, too. They got glow bugs. Is, um, this will be our biggest fight yet. I don't know how much we get. 1.12. It's not bad. It's not great. Uh, we need more with well attention. Fruit fertilizers, nice. 88%. We're getting there. More compliance would be fantastic, too. Uh, we need more political power, really. Support equipment. We need water. But we need some support equipment. But then again, I don't want to. I want to use caps. We have more than enough caps right now to use that. I gotta save a pee pee. Prospectors, fishing industries are good. Prioritize consumer technology for more uh, stability, yes. Um, requires one of the following shipping infrastructure and expanded moorings. Well, this one. Uh, we require, require crates and storage facilities for the many goods we have obtained. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Nice. Perimeter radio, we need some anti-tank as well. It's a little ahead of town, so we're not going to do that yet. The north end, well, it only gets cold up north. Anyways, we do have some rather interesting news. Seems the Republic of Three Rivers up here makes extensive use of airships, just like us. We had no, virtually no problem setting up a branch office here. This country, however, does have, seem to have attention with a large kingdom to the west. Hopefully things don't get too crazy up here. Acknowledged. Cool. In the ports of Eagle Rock. Eagle Rock's become the center of our air commerce in the waste. It has become a well-known trading node through our branch offices set up throughout the wasteland. Now it's going to infrastructure again and becomes an economic node. Planning a city. In order to accommodate airships and make the most of our position as a trade node, our city must be carefully planned and optimized. High-rise buildings. Uh, the construction of apartment complexes has become frequent as our population continues to grow. Vertical industry. As the city continues to expand, space for construction grows sparse. We must begin building up, up building upwards if we want to establish new industries. Architectural genius. We'll build the finest city in all the wastes. Uh, skyscrapers, our buildings shall reach as far as our airships and higher education. As Eagle Rock continues to develop throughout widespread trade, through widespread trade, many of our bright minds scattered throughout waste have become have been coming to live in our city. That's awesome. Oh, you're actually fighting these guys too, huh? Ooh, I want to see if they can win or not. Of course, if we go to war with them right now, that would also put us at an advantage because they would want to go to war with us too. Um, Empty, yeah. Not bad, Eagle Rock. Yes. Demo. Fire teams. Just go and throw on this guy too. There you go. They really can't go to war with anyone until they get all this stuff figured out. As long as we can take one tile, that's all that matters. Because then I think Diana will want that too. Looks like we're mostly done here. That's good. Nitrogen fixations. Sure, guys. Steam donkey loses a little bit of stability. Sure, why not? Cool. Protect the port. Uh, with more eyes on Eagle Rock, we must move to security against the ra raiders and the wastes. Peculiar vendors. With our access to an abundance of different markets, we have come across rather unique vendors with powerful items for sale. Abundant metals. All right, Warriors, let's get back to working those mines of yours. Um, uh, rotostats. Rotostats are airships with rotary wings, which assist them in lifting heavy objects for construction. Dynostats. There are airships with fixed wings, which can assist in generating lift for long endurance flights. And advanced aerodynamics technology or research. Being able to support larger and heavier ships. Our airships are no easy feat. In order to do so, knowledge and aerodynamics must be up to par. So I think I might end it there. We're actually doing really, 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 really well. And Eagle Rock so far has been a lot more fun than I thought it would be. But if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you do. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow to see what else we can do with good old Eagle Rock. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.